Hi there, this is Fixed It. If you have a new iWatch, in order to use it, it needs to be paired with an Apple account. And the usual account people pair it with is that on their iPhone. So this is how to pair your iWatch with your iPhone. Open your iPhone and click on the watch icon on the iPhone desktop. This will bring up the watch control panel, advising you that if you have an Apple Watch, you can now pair it with your iPhone. Click on start pairing and you'll be given two options. This is because you can have more than one watch associated with one iPhone Apple account. This case will select setup for myself and press the button. When you do, a new window will pop up advising you to put on your Apple watch and hold it up to the camera. This screen will stay there until such time as you align the watch face with the viewfinder. Once properly aligned, a dot pattern will appear on the screen. This one's been distorted to hide my watch's ID. Identity. Once the iPhone watch app identifies the Apple watch, it will tell you that it's paired. If you have previously had an Apple watch associated with your iPhone, you will be given an opportunity to restore that from backup. However, old backups don't always work. But in this case, we'll select set up as new Apple Watch. As with all Apple devices, you'll first need to agree to the terms and conditions. The watch will now sign into your Apple account. You'll now be asked to enable or disable location services. Choose the one you require. Apple then asks you to share watch analytics, either share or don't share. You'll then be asked to share shared settings. You'll then be asked to set an Apple Watch passcode. You can either create a short passcode or add a long passcode. In my case, I always choose a long passcode as I don't want people hacking into my watch if they find it. After typing in a new passcode, you'll be asked then to confirm it by typing it in again. Your watch will begin setting itself up. You'll then be asked if you want to keep your watch up to date automatically or manually and finally you'll be asked whether or not it can install available apps that are on your iPhone. I selected install or and then left the watch to get on with it itself just keep it close to the phone and when it's finished your watch will be ready to use. I hope you liked the video please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos and share this and my other videos with others. Thanks for watching bye.